this is um, IATEFL Day 1, and um, I've just left a, a really interesting session as part of the um, interactive um, language fair. So um, the, um, there were a couple of sessions going on together. It was a very interesting um, setup. Um, so there was about a dozen presenters um, and having kind of poster presentations in the room, and you could just float around in between those presentations. So if you got bored or if you just wanted to move on, you could go to the, to the next presenter. Um, so I think it was a very interesting setup, and um, it was organized by Bethany Kanyul and um, Burjo Akil. And one of the um, poster sessions that, that I saw that I thought was, was really good was about um, um, CPD, Continuing Professional Development. It was done by um, Daniela from Cultura Inglesa. And they did um, a lot of research. Um, she had um, sort of stacks of paper with data and surveys that they did in uh, in the schools in Cultura Inglesa in, in Brazil. And they tried to implement a new um, approach to observation and to professional development, trying to um, involve the teachers more in that process. Because very often, unfortunately, it's just a case of the manager coming in, assessing the teacher, uh, giving some feedback, and then uh, that's it. That's the observation done. Uh, sometimes it's it's quite high stakes because if you don't do well on that one-off observation, uh, you might get into trouble. Sometimes you might even lose your job. Uh, but the teachers are very reluctant to participate because they they see it as a threat. So um, in cultura inglesa, they they wanted to change that uh, to involve um, the teachers. Um, and what they did was that they they asked the teachers to identify their own strengths and weaknesses and the weaknesses they'd like to develop and the teacher trainers and the school directors would help them um, identify those weaknesses and then guide them um, to develop an action um, research and um, to um, guide them through different methods um, how they could address this weakness and then um, the teachers would prepare an action research plan together with the with the help of the teacher trainer and then um, they would carry it out and for example depending again it was up to the teacher whether they wanted to have the teacher trainer or the school director observe them um, as part of the action research they could also ask the peers um, or they could just videotape um, the lesson or audio recorded or have a, a, a journal um, a log um, after the lesson where they write their comments so it was very much less threatening because it was up to the teacher whether they would want to invite the school director or the teacher trainer into the classroom and then the process would finish with reflection and evaluation not just of how much the teacher improved in the in the weakness but also um, how well the the action research program worked and then the cycle would begin again so I thought it was it was very very good. It kind of reminded me of uh, um, the part of um, module two of the Delta, um, where you've got that um, experimental practice, and um, it also reminded me of the the podcast uh, that I did with Anthony Ash on observations and CPD and um, lesson planning, and I think um, this example of a sort of continuing professional development where the teacher is involved in a in a, not a very threatening way because there's there's no formal observations from the school director unless the teacher asks for it um, and also it's very it's very focused because the teacher chooses the weaknesses that they would like to address and and it's it's guided by the by the teacher trainer or the school director I think such a program would be very beneficial I certainly would have would have enjoyed a program like that um, in my schools but uh, it's not it's not that common so um, definitely I'll post the link here to, um, uh, to that um, study and um, Daniela said it might be published later on in a journal and as I said they, they tested it a lot, they, they did a lot of surveys with teachers and they, they found out that actually um, the ratio of teachers who, who stayed on with the program was much higher than uh, with the previous um, professional development program that they had and actually more and more teachers every year got involved as the, as the program continued and the feedback from teachers was very um, positive. Um, so if you're a teacher trainer or a school director, you might want to check out um, Cultura Inglesa um, idea for professional development. So I, I think, I think it, looks, it looks very, very good. So yeah, thanks a lot for, for watching and uh, there'll be more videos from um, 
this year's Aya Tefl. And don't forget that the Tefl Show also does uh, podcasts, and uh, you can find them on iTunes, on Stitcher, uh, on SoundCloud, and TuneIn Radio, and also on our website, thetefelshow.com. So thanks a lot, everybody, and uh, I'll talk to you in, uh, in another video or podcast.